ascended Kemsa CEO Jonah Manjari may now be drifting alone at sea after he made a dramatic U-turn on earlier assertions that he had been under pressure from Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe and other Ministry of Health officials to facilitate procurement of personal protective equipment at inflated costs. He told Parliament's Health Committee today that his remarks were misinterpreted. Kemsa also absolved itself from blame in the procurements that saw the agency exceed its budget by 3 billion shillings. Zainab Ismail is still on that story. As a CEO, I did not work under any pressure whatsoever. As I said, I did this with my eyes open. A 360-degree turn from just a week ago when he appeared before the Senate Addo Committee investigating the matter, corroborating the testimony by Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe, distancing himself from the allegations that he untwisted the suspended CEO to influence procurement procedures. My job is, uh, has never been, and will never be, to ask anybody to break the law in the saga, in the organization that we are in, we did this procurement during very hard times and it is for the passion I have for this health uh, industry and for the healthcare workers, the frontline healthcare workers. It however got hotter for Manjari who had to explain why he went ahead to procure items surpassing the allocated budget and even further went ahead to bypass the Ministry of Health in seeking additional funding from the Treasury. Did your board approve the overexpenditure? I want to state that the board did not approve of that overexpenditure and that has been confirmed. We did not have a budget for COVID-related items, but several bodies have pronounced themselves that they have the budget. So we never accessed that budget, and that's the reason we are seeking for budgetary allocation. You know, it appears harmless, but it can be... This, uh, the green snake in the green uh, grass. You, you did your own things, cooked your own figures, concluded on your own uh, awards. I'm not a green snake in the grass. I am an honest, passionate uh, medical profession, profession of high integrity and practice. At one point, suspended procurement director Kemsa Charles Juma even accusing Manjari of signing nine commitment letters without his knowledge. All the commitment letters which were issued to the suppliers were signed by the chief executive officer. My statement is that what Juma is trying to do is throw, throw the CEO under the bus. Healthcare Kenya Limited. The Chamber of Commerce and the three companies accused of involvement in the regular procurement also appeared before the Sabina Shege led Health Committee. If you have every county covered, the committee is expected to table its final report on the floor of the House next week. Zainab Ismail, NTV.